Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna do something different. This plug right here is a plug that plugs into my VSS speed sensor, um, which is like the K-series transmission, like the O5s and up that has the uh, VSS sensor in front of the transmission. So what I'm gonna do here is um, since this sensor on these transmissions call for five volts, I purchased a five volt converter. So right here you can see the 12 volts goes into this box and it converts it into five volts. Before I clean up these wires, let me explain what I did here. So here is my 12 volt source that's going into the converter box. Here's the ground and then the output on this box is this yellow wire which is going to be five volts which is going to feed the signal on this plug and uh also the ground is also fed to this plug as well so pretty straightforward 12 volts in five volts out ground in and then ground out. So after installing the five volt converter box, now we're gonna see if we get five volts coming out. So with the voltmeter, with the voltmeter, we're gonna turn it to volts DC. So I'm gonna be on 20. And here with the plug, so I know the black is the ground and then the black and yellow in my case is uh, the positive so I have the red probe in the positive and then the black probe on the ground and then we're gonna turn on the ignition and see if we get five volts with that converter box we are getting five volts so I know I read on a bunch of forms that people just do 12 volts directly and they say they have no problems but uh you know for a few few dollars um this five volt converter box will give you five volts which technically um the high frequency transaxle sensor requires five volts um but you know, I'm not saying this has to be done, but I'm just gonna do five volts just to be on the safe side. 